Good morning from my favourite place in the world. But I have lots of favourite places because we have such a beautiful world. But this is my little place where when I was so broken I didn't know what to do I had nowhere to go. And I had a beautiful vision of what uh, I think is called a Shekinah sun. And it healed me. And it gave me the strength to bring out a lifelong study of uh, my uh, looking at why Jesus Christ was and is and will be the greatest healer of all time and also um, looking at scripture and healing and uh, I was studying whether muscle response testing <clears throat> in kinesiology a technique that I practice and have helped many 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 people with as do others and uh, I'm proving that it's not uh, divination and uh, thereby against God. So I conclude that the uh, positive strong muscle test in the clear affirms the parasympathetic nervous system where, where love resides. Because love is not a cortisol. There's a little bird standing on a rock there. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> see if I can zoom in on it. I've come down. There's a... There's a sort of seat cushiony thing I'm sitting on. Oh, can we see him? You can just see his legs. There he is. Not sure what he is. There. So, um, lifelong work. I never planned to write poetry. And, uh, and this is my third CD now of poetry. So, uh, oh, doggy, doggy growling. And, uh, it's looking at the things that cause hurt and pain, uh, betrayal. So anything that triggers the stress response in the body. Um, because uh, Psalm 146, I think, or 148, it says we, we were, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And so fear is our sort of default for survival. The fright, fight, flight syndrome. And, uh, you know, it triggers and goes first and uh, causes the adrenaline, which of course feels great at first, but not lasting then that needs stimulants <clears throat> uh, to keep to keep that feeling to keep that that sort of but it's a false surge it doesn't last and what part of that stress response is that you then when you've got out of danger you then sleep rest recover and reason and process well what you know what went wrong there what <laughs> how did I survive and the reasoning and conscious processing will come back um, because what happens with the stress response is that frontal brain cortex is shut off and uh, and then you can't reason and um, and negotiate and become conscious. So uh, yes, yeah, so it's all about being able to maintain that that point of reason, keep the the forebrain open, and attain to the endorphin love because the glory of God is about the endorphins. And as I say in the poem, the end, the end is the beginning of the word endorphin. So anyway, I'm just going to because uh, I haven't. Um, my phone's always full up. <laughs> I'm just going to share a poem um, this morning. So it's the uh, oh, it's the 27th of April today, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just been looking on YouTube and they're talking about a second Passover and there's just so many signs in the heavens and surely, surely our world needs healing. It needs healing. It needs consciousness of the stress, of the things that cause the hurts and pains. And they're not always conscious, not always conscious. So hopefully this work will uh, will help enlighten, enlighten for love, for love's light to prevail and to people be able to overcome the stress responses. Um, and there's lots of uh, techniques that can help to do that. And just looking after ourselves, looking after ourselves with complementary therapies and, you know, our body's a massive sensory being and healthy touch is a really good thing. You know, massage is so wonderful 
Um, it's so therapeutic. It uh, just and the, it, we when I was at college we used to call it the feel good factor, but of course that is the endorphin release. So uh, yeah, life can be heaven on earth here. We're allowed to. Aromatherapy is amazing. Aromatherapy is in the Bible. Uh, good organic natural living, the herbs. We, but what we mustn't do is we mustn't pollute. We mustn't pollute our planet or our bodies. Um, and so uh, you know this this system where there's so many chemicals in in foods. Um, you know some foods are hardly classed as foods anymore, and then they advertise them heavily, make people sick, sell the drugs, and uh, people are suffering. And that's not meant to, life isn't meant to be like that. God hasn't designed life to be like that. And uh, even, actually, even if we just look along along here, there's like masses of of uh, sea beet. Mm. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to read to you. Oh, gosh, I'm running out of time. Well, I'll have to be quick. This is called A Light View, uh, A Reflection of Time, A-D-C-E. Um, so there once were dark times very dark times, when we were taught not to look at the sun, moon and stars, when they thought that crystal healing was a cult and new age. There once was anxious times, where we were tempted to turn away from the sun and that Christmas was just once a year. Those were dark times, very dark times. Men's doctrines in churches lost their healing light. Men who did not know that the chakras glow light from Christ's love. Churches thought gemstones were new age and anti to Christ. Those were confused dark times. Sin, betrayal and abuse condoned by 100 Hail Marys. Forgiveness from a childless man. And they said crystals were anti to Christ. Oh! Crystal gemstones that Jesus Christ says the stones will cry out for the peace from Zion. Jerusalem for new Jerusalem, for heaven on earth as promised. The gemstones cry out for the heavenly peace of love of Christ. For healing all nations, where we will learn abuse and war no more. Where the light of Zion will arise and shine brightly. Those were dark times, very dark times, when they thought healing chakras and crystals were anti to Christ. And I saw a new heaven. Everything real is invisible.